Welcome back. We're in studio with Dr. Glenn discussing virtual colonoscopy. Doctor, I have to tell you, having had the virtual done, and, and obviously I've had the distinct pleasure of having a barium enema, I've had the rigid scope, and I've had four or six feet, whatever it happens to be, inserted inside of me. I don't understand, after having the virtual and seeing what it can do and, and the clarity of the images, why it's not the, the, the goal care. There, there, there's, there's no anesthesia. There, there's very limited, you're in, you're out, there's no pain. Why isn't everybody using that to detect cancer? A couple of reasons. Um, the fiber optic scopes, people believe, represent the way of visualizing, and if you can grab that scope and just uh, as if we had a light source on the end of it and the light source was illuminating the yellow here, as you pull that out, the endoscopist is only seeing 70 to, 79 to 80 percent of the surface of the colon. He's not seeing the green areas behind the folds. So why wouldn't you want to use the, you, could, you see everything in the virtual and we see not? And we see upwards of 100 percent with the other. Now the other reason is there have been tremendous advancements just in the last four years. The first three major articles up through 2002 were done with single slice or dual slice. Okay. And the important part what here... That, what does that mean, single slice? Do, the CT scanners gather pictures, axial pictures. So it's taking slice. one picture at a time. One picture at a time. Here it was one or two at a, at a time, and the resolution behind those ridges is what you see down here. Well, the, New, the New England Journal study was four channel, and you see now, the this tremendous... One, this, the four channel one said that, that, that virtual is as good as the scope it was said that it was better than the scope at the polyp diameters that matter, seven millimeters and above. Okay. So here we are with one or two, four channel, and yours was done on a 16 channel. This is over near the cecum. Now the and clarity you, is a lot better. Clarity is enormously better. So imagine what you'll be able to see behind these tall, deep mountain ranges or haustral folds. Okay, now you actually have designed software that takes that and flattens it completely out. Yes. Here's what we're able to do, Michael, and this is your data. Starting at the rectal end, you'll see here in the left side of the screen a collapsed segment which is open on the right side when you were lying on your tummy. And as we go up here, you'll see all these little bumps. And if we want to stop and interrogate any one of these little bumps with a 3D view or a 2D view, we can do that. But the bottom line is we can scroll from one end of your colon to the other in 90 seconds. So you can tell basically by that being that way, by being able to flatten it out like that and look at it, within 90 seconds you can scroll my whole colon, look through it, and tell me whether I have any polyps that would, be, that would need to come out or, or require further investigation. We can identify any suspicious areas. We can drill down on them and interrogate them with the other more conventional ways of looking at virtual colonoscopy data, the 3D views and the 2D uh, multiplanar views. Okay, so if somebody wants to get this done, if somebody basically is scheduled to go get a scope, or if they want to know if they have cancer. I don't understand why if 60,000 people a year are dying, well, I, I did with the scope, why they wouldn't go and get it done. I'm supposed to go every few years and get it done, and I, and I almost refused to do it because it was extremely painful. With the virtual, there was no pain at all. So if somebody wanted to get it done, and they didn't know where to go, or they didn't know what to do, can they, what, can they call you? I mean, is there somebody in the phone book you can look up? It's very new, and I, obviously I didn't even know this existed until I heard about you and I called you and you, you were Adam and I get most, it done. Most centers, Michael, are not doing these. Uh, it takes too long and there's too much data. So we want to do this as a primary Does it take service. too long there's too much data because the center doesn't have the right equipment? Or, or because it didn't, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it took you no time at all to do this. And it didn't seem that, uh, it took you no time at all to put all these documents together. So obviously, it doesn't take that long if you have the right stuff. Uh, if they call our 1-800 number, we'll direct them to a local center in their neighborhood that can get this done. And they can go in and get it, and they'll, will they get the copies like I did? Will they get the nice flat? Can they keep it for their records? Sure. I, to me, it, it, it's incredible that I can have this. I can keep it, and five years from now, when I go to get my next one, I'll actually be able to compare myself. I didn't realize that they don't keep records of, your, of, the, of the, the scope when they put it up in there. No, that's true. They don't and video you, it? You, you can have your rolled out flattening view, and you can put it on your wall if you want, or in a drawer. Well, Doc, I want to thank you for coming on the show. You have been, it's amazing what's out there. And I don't think that anybody realizes how fast computer technology is advancing. I mean, we, we use it every day in our life. We use the ATM machines, our telephones, our t everything in, in our lives is computerized. And yet when it comes to medical care, until I met you, th th there didn't seem to be that big push to take advantage of that stuff 
in that part of our lives. Well, I would ask that you tell your audience that you didn't believe a word I was saying. I didn't believe anything you said. Okay, and so now you do, and because of your personal experience in the past, and because of what we put you through, and what you've seen and held in your own hand. Yeah, I was very scared. I want to tell you, I was, I was very scared. I played it off when I came, but I was very, very scared that day. And, and now, knowing what I know, five years, I'll go get my next one. Good it's been a, It's been a pleasure having you on the show. I'll Thank have you. to have you back. Thank you. Thanks. You've been watching Medical News Network. For information on this topic or any other, please visit our website at medicalnewsnetwork.info. Until next time, I wish you good health.